We so seldom sit down and ask ourselves, is this really true? For instance, why do I believe things like, it's difficult for me to learn? Is that true for me now? Where did that belief come from? Do I still believe it because a first grade teacher told me that over and over? Would I be better off if I dropped that belief? Beliefs that boys don't cry and girls don't climb trees create men who hide their feelings and women who are afraid to be physical. If we were taught as a child that the world is a frightening place, then everything we hear that fits that belief we will accept as true for us. The same is true for don't trust strangers, don't go out at night, or people cheat you. On the other hand, if we could be taught early in life that the world is a safe place, then we would hold other beliefs. We could easily accept that love is everywhere and people are so friendly and I always have whatever I need. If you were taught as a child that it's all my fault, then you will walk through your life feeling guilty no matter what happens. Your belief will turn you into someone who's constantly saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. If you learn to believe as a child, I don't count, then this belief will always keep you at the end of the line wherever you are. Sometimes you will feel you're invisible when others fail to notice you. Did your childhood circumstances teach you to believe nobody loves me? Then surely you will be lonely. Even when you bring a friend or a relationship into your life, it will be short-lived. Did your family teach you there is not enough? Then I'm sure you often feel as though the cupboard is bare, or you find you just get by, or are always in debt. I had a client who had been brought up in a household where they believed everything is wrong and can only get worse. His main joy in life was playing tennis and then he hurt his knee. He went to every doctor he could find and it only became worse and finally could not play at all. Another person had been brought up as a preacher's son and as a child he was taught that everybody else comes first. The preacher's family always came last. Today he's wonderful at helping his clients get the best deal, yet he's usually in debt with little pocket money. His belief still makes him last in line. If you believe it, it seems true. How often have we said, that's the way I am, or that's the way it is? Those words are saying that that's what we believe to be true for us. Usually what we believe is someone else's opinion we have incorporated into our belief systems. No doubt it fits right in with all the other things we believe. Are you one of the many people who will get up in the morning, see that it's raining and say, oh, what a lousy day. It is not a lousy day. It is only a wet day. If we wear the appropriate clothing and change our attitude, we can have a lot of rainy day fun. If it is really our belief that rainy days are lousy days, then we will always greet rain with a sinking heart. We will fight the day rather than flow with what is happening at the moment. There is no good or bad weather. There is just weather and our individual reactions to it. If we want a joyous life, we must think joyous thoughts. If we want a prosperous life, we must think prosperous thoughts. If we want a loving life, we must think loving thoughts. Whatever we send out mentally or verbally will come back to us in like form. Each moment is a new beginning. The point of power is always in the present moment. You are never stuck. This is where changes take place, right here and right now in our own minds. Doesn't matter how long we've had a negative pattern or an illness or a poor relationship or lack of finances or self-hatred. We can begin to make a shift today. Your problem no longer needs to be the truth for you. It can now fade back to the nothingness from whence it came. You can do it. Remember, you are the only person that thinks in your mind.